When you're a fan of hard rock and heavy metal, sometimes it's slim pickings when it comes to putting together a playlist of romantic, yet ass-kicking jams for your night out with your partner. So we've got you covered here with this list of the top five most romantic hard rock and heavy metal songs ever. Let's start off with a really underrated romantic jam. This is from Stone Temple Pilots, and this is a song called Still Remains. Not a well-known song, but this song always stood out to me since, since the first time I heard this as a little kid. If you should die Scott Weiland, he wrote this song about being engrossed in someone and just being so engrossed with someone like you want to be with them through death. You're just completely uh, and utterly enveloped in this person and in this love. And that's a really relatable situation. Dude, I've been in situations where like, I'm so into you. I just, I want to take a fucking bite out of your shoulder. There's a line in this song, take a bath. I'll drink the water that you left. Think about the reality of that. Uh, you know, when you when you get into a tub and you you know it gets in all your crevices, and all the filth of uh, of living your daily human existence has come out, and I'm gonna take a fucking cup of that and swirl it like a fucking uh, like like a like a wine glass and just take a big sip of all the funk that came off your ass. But when you're when you're caught up in in that sort of love makes no big deal. I mean, fuck, we, we put each other's genitals in our mouths. It speaks to the, uh, the, the, the fervor and the fever that takes over your heart when you're caught up in a, in a really engrossing, intense uh, love affair. Moving on, we have one of the biggest songs from uh, probably one of the more infamous bands of the 80s. It's I Remember You by Skid Row. Uh, sung beautifully by one Sebastian Bach. Anyone who remembers Sebastian Bach in the 80s knows he was such a beautiful man. I mean, he looked almost like a super, like a female supermodel. Go look at pictures of, of Sebastian Bach in the 80s. Some makeup on, boom, you're gonna have so many Instagram followers, guys, oh girl, you so sexy. I mean, dick pics, the whole nine. And uh, just beautiful, beautiful hair, beautiful kissable lips. They even had, you know, feminine hips and shit like that. Uh, all sexy and shit. But, <laughs> but Sebastian Bach, at this point in the game, one of the most amazingly powerful voices and of course, the, the lyrics, it's the story of thinking back to it, to an amazing romance you had and thinking about how things went wrong and, you know, wanting to maybe conjure it back up. It's the shit that happens when you get on Facebook and you see, you know, that girlfriend from back in the day and you just, oh, you think back. Oh, man, remember that time she blew me by a dumpster? It was just, oh, and it rained and fucking whatever really romantic song just a beautiful choice for your valentine listening needs i remember you by skid row next is sex tape by the deftones this song is such a vibe dude the vibe is just so romance that the song is romantic, that the lyrics have nothing to do with anything, but people have found sexual shit in the lyrics of sex tape. I'm going to read a few of the comments. This is off songmeanings.com. Here's a comment. Uh, James Choke says, this song is about a sensual experience. It's called sex tape because he wants to remember it. Lady Libertine says, the tone of this song screams love song. I think it's about making a sex tape with a lover. I think it's kind of awesome. The multiple meanings of waves collide, waves of pleasure, TV waves, waves of sounds, screams, moans, uh, just people all mixed up in each other when they orgasm. I mean, clearly, if you listen to what the people are saying, it's clear that this song is about getting down for your crown 
whether Chino Moreno meant that or not, that's what people are getting out of it. Uh, sex tape, absolutely check that out if you've never heard it. Next, we've got, you know, really one of the most romantic songs I have ever heard in my fucking life. This is Still Loving You by The Scorpions. The Scorpions, for those of you who don't know, they had a few hit songs. Their biggest song was Rock You Like the Hurricane. Really, most of their songs were about romance or just straight up pound fucking. But, you know, they kept that theme of romance throughout the whole thing. Still Loving You, and this is a quote by Rudolf Schenker. 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 He's German. And I quote, it's a story about a love affair where they recognized it may be over, but let's try again. Is there really no if you're a lyric person, some people don't give a shit, but if you're a lyric person, oh my God, this is beautiful work. The singing matches the lyricism. It's just a great example of great musicians coming together with great lyrics, great vocals, which leads us to, in my opinion, the greatest heavy metal romance song ever written. It is from cult classic metal band from the 90s, Type O Negative, and it is called Love You To Death. This fucking song is so huge. <laughs> If you don't know Typo Negative, then you need to find out about these dudes. Typo Negative was fronted by a guy named Peter Steele. Rest in peace. He died several years ago. Um, Peter Steele was like seven foot fucking tall. And he had long fucking dark hair and he was pale as fuck. And he was like a big muscular type of dude. And he had fucking fangs, literal fangs. Um, chicks fucking loved him, dude. And uh, if, you would, if you went to a typo negative show back in the 90s, it was like 85% women. It was, it was like the reverse of a dream theater show. To me, Peter Steele was such a, a kind of sex symbol of that time. He was on Jerry Springer when Jerry was doing a show about uh, groupies and shit like that. He, 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 had, he had fucked a chick that was on stage or whatever. Not on the show, but just in life. I know her. <laughs> These young ladies I have, I have yet to meet. You have yet to meet. Uh, he had been in Playgirl, and I mean, if you've never seen those pictures, holy shit, NSFW, but he's got, he hangs dong for real. He does the gimmick where, like, he gets it hard and he squeezes the bass so that, like, you know, what's left is all, like, ugh, fucking super, super veiny and shit. But, uh, but yeah, he's, he's really putting on a show for the ladies. All phases of this song are so huge. Even the parts that are quiet, there are parts that are just uh, piano. You know, it's not like the deepest shit lyrically, but if it's said by Peter Steele, seven foot fucking Anne Rice wet dream, you, you know, women start to fucking swoon. If you were like, a, you know, a five foot six, you know, 350 pound fucking uh incel and you said that shit to a woman she'd fucking call the cops you'd you'd be pepper sprayed like eight out of ten times for saying shit like that but when you when you combine it all when you combine peter Steele and just his whole his giant fucking id his charisma and, and what he brought to this i mean because he was also the bassist and the bass is predominant this song will take you on an erotic journey. This is a jam that women will get into. I know women who don't give a fuck about heavy metal and they love this song. Uh, it's been covered by several people, but nobody does it with the gravitas of the great Peter Steele. And that's why this is the most romantic hard rock slash heavy metal jam ever. Thank you very much for, for watching. You can go to killrockradio.com to listen to our full podcast. Please like, subscribe, do all that shit. Thank you so much for listening, and I will talk to you crazy motherfuckers later. Peace.